Hey everyone, I'm Mike Lowe and we are going over version one of my MLB The Show 23 sliders. Couple things right off the bat. One, we're on legend difficulty. You're gonna see we're really close to default in a lot of areas. And number two, the operation sports forums have been down kind of on and off the last few days. So I wanted to put a video together because I know some people are having trouble getting to that actual post for those details. So this should at least get you kind of moving along if you want to jump in here and use version one. So I mentioned we're really, really close to default legend. And that's a credit to San Diego Studios. I am not looking to make changes for the sake of making changes or to like try to put my own stamp on uh, a, a special slider set or anything like this. This game plays really, really well. So if you're like underwhelmed by this, uh, don't be. It's it's a credit that the game's really playing well out of the box. And so these first few all default sliders, we don't use dynamic difficulty at all, so you can ignore that. Human pitcher control, we are lowering one notch to four here. And that's just to uh, really a couple things. One, of course, make it a little bit harder to throw strikes, but also by leaving computer contact at four, even though it tells us not to, it really forces you to be more cautious, throw more balls out of the zone. Don't be afraid to walk hitters and, and things like that because you can and will get punished if you don't. So uh, that's just one little uh, minor tweak there. Scrolling down, computer stamina and manager hook are the next two things you're going to see. Those are at eight, and that's for simulated games or after the CPU team goes to the bullpen in a played game. You can, of course, just the starter stamina once they go to their bullpen because it's, it's irrelevant at that point and you'll be ready for simulated games. But the idea is if you don't change these for when you're simulating games in the background, you will end up with too many complete games and complete game shutouts. You want to see around, I don't know, 35 to 40 or so in a season. There were 36 last year in, in baseball. That's way down. There used to be 60 when I did this set. So it's continuing the trend down. That's about six per month. Uh, I guess, you know, one and a quarter complete games per game week, if you want to kind of look at it that way. But the idea, as long as you're kind of hovering around there, you should be just fine. And the only way you're going to get that is by increasing starter stamina, which seems counterintuitive, but it's because we've increased the manager hook. We got to make sure those starters get out to avoid the complete games, but we don't want them coming out too quickly that they're not pitching, um, you know, more than like five innings or four innings or something like that. So that's why those kind of work together like that. And again, that's simulated games. I highly recommend simulating your games one at a time before you jump into your gameplay. Save your file ahead of time simulate those games and then go to league leaders and make sure that you have not generated too many complete games if you did reload things try it again and then you can just kind of continue on and that's how you can keep yourself kind of in that range of 35 or 40 maybe uh, complete games throughout the entire season or don't it's entirely up to you that's just how i do it we then go down to errors. We've kicked all of these up. The game is still a little bit too low on uh, played game errors. So we've just kind of increased those across the board. You will still see more fielding errors than you will say like throwing errors. And that that's pretty normal, at least for, you know, infielders and things like that. Um, and so again, it's not like these are all like just on a, like a percentage basis. I mean, th there's typically more fielding errors than there are throwing errors in baseball. So um, that's okay. Fielder run speed, fielder reaction. They work together. This is really trying to help out uh, just kind of more realistic infield play. So reaction needs to come up and we lowered run speed to kind of compensate a little bit. You may notice like your corner infielders, for instance, like running all over the place, like a, a chicken with their head cut off, catching fly balls um, or like foul, foul outs, for instance, like along the wall. They have a, a, just a tremendous amount of range and it's a little bit too quick. Um, it doesn't really impact the outfielders all that much. It just maybe creates a little bit more gaps, maybe some more diving plays, which is cool. Um, but again, not too many. The, the bigger one here is just the fielder reaction had to come up too many times. Your infielders are just kind of stuck in cement on a line drive. And this 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 allows them to get more in range for those plays. We can scroll down again, a lot more default. The only other thing we've done so far here in version one is we've increased the injury rating. I would actually recommend using seven. But the problem is with only a triple A, double A and sort of like a pseudo A team, you just don't have enough players in your organization to handle injury slider at seven. So we've gone with six and I just try to tell myself, uh, hey, you know, uh, injury prevention has gotten better. Sports medicine's gotten better and that sort of thing. And, uh, you know, players are, are more cognizant of how to take care of themselves, whether it's diet, stretching, all of that stuff. So I just kind of say, hey, I, I guess we can just maybe see a little bit lower uh, injuries here as you move into the future of baseball. So that's the sliders. What about actual settings? Because I get asked a lot about those as well. 
Gameplay settings, uh, I mentioned we're on Legend difficulty here, game style simulation, uh, tutorials off, pretty much all visual things that you can live with, I recommend turning off. If you don't follow this to a T, it's okay. It's not going to break anything. You, you can play uh, this game however you want. Uh, the sliders are one thing. The settings are, are something entirely different. Uh, that includes even things like auto fielding, right? So as we go through this, just keep this in mind. Um, decisions, I, of course, like to just leave all the decisions to me. You can do whatever you want. The only reason I have shift on is it just saves me time. It just it defaults to a, a pretty good base most of the time. You can still check it each batter, each pitch, whatever you want to do. But this just saves you from having to do it each batter, each, uh, each pitch. Uh, personalized umpires, all that stuff you'd expect to you know, have if you're kind of looking for a realistic simulation, close plays, that kind of thing. Box are off simply because the CPU teams will never balk. And so um, just be careful if you're playing online, just make sure you're aware that uh, you know what a balk is and, and how to avoid that because there's no undo button when you're playing online there. Miscellaneous, this is all stuff, um, you know, pretty self-explanatory. Some of this stuff here has to do more with Road to the Show. Definitely make sure post-game autosave is turned off or else when you're doing those like game-by-game -game simulations I recommend doing to check for complete games, you don't lock yourself into like a, a, a bad result or something like that. Um, pitch delay, again, a lot of this stuff's not really going to make a difference, but that's what I um, have that there. So if we click over to controls, as you'd expect here, it's pretty similar to what we've used in the past. Um, analog button uh, for fielding, hitting is zone. Um, I'm sorry, uh, that's for base running, but yeah, hitting is zone. Uh, the visuals, again, as much, as much as we can have off, we will have off. Um, these locks here, I believe they are off, so that's not going to matter. Um, these additions are cool. I think they're neat, but I just like a clean screen. If you want to use them, I really don't think it's going to matter. It's not going to mess anything up. I still have that slider app I built too, which is up on the simsportsgaming.com website. Uh, so if you are maybe, you know, adjusting a lot of these things and you're seeing too much offense or, or maybe it's making it too hard, whatever it is, you can still input your stats into that slider app and it will spit out a slider set. Uh, for you that is recommended based on your input. So you can definitely do that. And there's a video on my YouTube channel explaining how that works. So plate coverage indicator, again, off, just keeping all these visuals off so none of this stuff's going to matter. Guest pitch off, even vibration off, simply because I think vibration's got a cool role in sports games where it kind of adds to like uh, like drama in certain high tense situations, but it makes it too easy to paint corners where you can sort of like feel the strike zone. So that's why that's off. Pitching, we've switched to pinpoint. So it's it's still... Just too easy. I, I have said it a million times before. Super Mega Baseball does this right. They get pitching. Uh, their pitching and fielding mechanic is flawless. It's so well done. Uh, it's still too easy in MLB The Show to throw strikes if you want. Uh, but Pinpoint's going to give you the best option there to kind of come up with some realism. And, and it can certainly be harder with some worse pitchers. Everything else here you're seeing, again, just kind of based off of the visuals being turned off as you'd expect. Um Drifting ball catch position indicator. I am using uh, manual fielding, but I like that it matters the player's rating. So that's why we're using drifting ball. If you're using auto fielding, that's not going to make a darn difference. Um, these are more for player locks. We don't need to worry about those. Um, camera, catcher, and broadcast. Very, very simple. I think those are actually mostly default. I probably changed some of these to broadcast. Um, display, again, just trying to keep a, a, clean, a clean screen. Fielding aids, I believe, have to be on just so you see, say, like the catch position indicator accuracy working. If, if I turn this off, you can see it kind of messes with that. So that's the reason why uh, we have to at least leave this option toggled on. Uh, if I'm wrong, please let me know. But I, that's my understanding of that one. Um, strike zones off. Hot zone, I like to use preview simply because, you know, in real life, Teams have meetings before each game. They talk about the starting pitcher. The pitchers get together with their pitching coach. They talk about the lineup that day. This is not your full-time job, obviously. So I feel like it's very fair to have um, um, hot zones on preview, at least, so you can kind of get a refresher. You know, catchers wear armbands with kind of their cheat sheets, sort of like NFL quarterbacks and that kind of thing. So I see no problem with leaving that on if you want. And that's what I do. Just a quick refresher kind of keeps the game moving along a little quicker there. And again, all this other stuff, you can really do what you want with it. Uh, none of these are going to like make or break anything. I just try to keep visuals as clean as possible. Um, but any sort of thing that can maybe save time without giving me any sort of uh, like competitive advantage, I will leave on. And then that's perfectly fine. So none of those are really going to make or break anything. As far as presentation goes... Um, pretty straightforward this is this stuff's pretty similar i still don't like these pitch selection cameras i think they're stupid honestly they just look dumb 
um, audio, whatever you want to do. I have music turned down just for this video. So YouTube doesn't freak out uh, with licensed music. But again, you can really do whatever you want with that. Um, really important though, when you're using your profile, I recommend having all this stuff on manual if you're kind of playing that GM role, which is what I like to do. Uh, that's obviously important. But then I also use a CPU setting where everything's on auto. And that's just to give me that kind of 30 team control. Um, I can go in and uh, tinker with the CPU teams if I want. Um, there are a few things that I recommend that I'll go over here in just a second that you want to do for the CPU teams. But otherwise, I let them go. I don't try to follow real life trades. I don't try to simulate so the real life teams win on the same day. I don't see the point of that. No knock. Um, I just It's funny. I get asked about it all the time if I do it. Um, it's one of the more common questions I get. And no, because if, if I want to follow real life trades and I want to follow the real life scores and the real life stats, I'll just watch real life baseball. I, why do I need two versions of that? That doesn't make any sense to me. So um, again, leave me out of that. Good luck if you're doing it. That's cool. Glad it makes you happy. One thing you definitely, definitely, definitely need to be doing if you're concerned with the complete games. It's more than just the slider tinkering. Um, and that's actually even say so much to complete games. But if you want to really go the extra step of getting realistic rotations, you need to keep players out of this long relief position for the CPU teams. It doesn't matter for your team. I just I have Banda here just to remind myself like, oh, yeah, he's my long reliever, kind of our secondary lefty. Um, these other teams, though, you need to move them down here. Now, the problem is since MLB expanded, MLB The Show, of course, made adjustments to the game, but they haven't allowed us to kind of like get rid of these positions. They didn't create an extra spot down here for a middle reliever. So you will have some teams. There's just nothing you can do about it. Uh, they will. They have enough pitchers here. Uh, if they're carrying 13 pitchers, you're going to have to have someone in this long relief role. Now, I believe I already cleaned these up because I do this every single game before I play. I go through. It takes five seconds to click through all 30 teams. And all I'm really looking for is here. Like if one of these spots... Uh, if there's a spot open, it's going to be in one of these, uh, really this spot or this spot. And you'll see it just by kind of looking down towards the bottom of your screen. So as I flick through this really quickly, you would see this. Now, again, you're not going to see this because I've already done it. But if I did, like, let's just say, um, you know, Chirinos or something was up here. I would I would flip through and I go, oh, look, at, there's an opening there. And then what I do is just I, I start to look and say, OK, well, typically I want to put the better pitcher in the bullpen, especially in a setup role. Uh, but I'll also look at stamina. But in this case, their stamina is pretty, pretty close. So I'm gonna move Torino's back down in the setup. That just makes sense. So that's kind of the idea of what I'm doing. And it's just really quickly. I can click through, you can see these are already done. So this is really fast. And I'm already back to my team there. Um, so that's something I do every single game. But that's the idea. That's how all this sort of works together, whether it's the sliders, whether it's the settings, whether it's kind of the team management, 30 team control. That's really all I do for 30 team control. I don't like to get involved. Bad trades happen in real life. I'm not trying to follow real life, as I mentioned. So um, I am perfectly fine doing it that way. So anyway, I hope this video helps. Definitely give the video a like. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already. And I also put a donation link. I get asked about donations, uh, people who want to just uh, show their thanks for sliders and just different uh, game videos and things like that. There is a donation link on the Operation Sports Forum. And again, that forum is down at this moment, which is why I wanted to throw this quick video together. But you should be able to at least get yourself going here on the sliders. I don't plan to have like a, a version 1.1 here for at least a while, um, you know, at least probably a week or so. And so you'll you'll have some time here. I'm sure their forums will be back up and running. But anyway, there's a link there for donations if you want. But I just super appreciate all the follows I'm getting uh, with the, it's really sports gaming in general. It's been a lot of fun. I, I learned a lot from all of you. So I, I appreciate that. But you can find me on Twitter at Michael 47 Of course, you're on the YouTube channel here. And again, just appreciate all the support. And I will see you all next time. Enjoy your MLB The Show uh, franchises. Check out my channel for other sim sports franchise mode gaming all that fun stuff including some mlb the show here with these nationals who as you can see are a bit of a surprise at four and six so getting some really good results really fun results so that's it everyone i'm mike Lowe. thanks for watching hope this video helps you see you next time